Okay, so back in the Beast Journal. Um, now I've given this page, I've put some masking tape down the centre. I've given the page two coats with uh, some absorbent ground, which is for, it's like a gesso but for acrylics. Not for acrylics, for watercolours. <laughs> I have these watercolour inks which I have never used, but I bought them from uh, Lidl's. So I don't know if you can see the colours, we've got blues. Blue, black, magenta, yellow, um, another blue that's ultramarine, and this one is cyan. So, I'm thinking I'm just going to take two colours. Perhaps the ultramarine and the magenta. Um, I'm just going to go for it, I think. Bit nervous. I've got this quite large brush. Uh, I'll just go straight with the ink. <laughs> okay. Uh, So I think I've done with that, um, it wasn't what I was kind of planning, um, I was hoping this would end a bit, I don't know, more washy and loose, but I kind of, I don't know, I think I went in too much with the colour originally, I should have just stuck to small areas. 
and left more white space but there we go um so I'm just gonna uh, drop on this side and give it a very light spray with some water just put my spray roll down if it does Just grab uh, perhaps a small brush and give it a go. Let's try and. in her eye and put a little shine on her lip and my mouth <laughs> it's being it just massive I just I went really loose and then I just didn't like it so so I changed it and that's fine isn't it and get a bit of shading in there And now I'm fussing, I'm going to need to leave it. There we go. <laughs> so it is what it is, still quite, quite loose. Um, I didn't, you know, spend ages on it. Um, let's see how long, it's going to tell me how long I've been filming. 20 minutes. So yeah, it's not bad. So that's that. Once that bit's dry, I will write, you know, as I do <laughs> in the corner. Um, so watercolor is not my thing uh, because I feel like I don't have as much control over it. As you can see, it's blurring and, you know, so it's good for me to just let go, play with it, let it do its thing, and be okay with the result. I mean, actually, it's a pretty good face, isn't it? So that I did, I just, just did it. Um, but yeah, sometimes you just need to let go, and this is a good exercise. Keep doing this kind of thing, and you get better and better at drawing faces, so... I hope you enjoyed that, uh, as I say. Um, um, please check out the other videos in the series. How many have we done now? Three? Yes, so there are two others for you to go and look at if you want to. I'll put it all together in a playlist. Uh, so, yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, I'll see you again soon. And I'll just say, you know, it, if you wanted to, you could go in and then, you know, add fine details with black ink or something. But obviously that's not the object of this exercise, it's just to be loose and abstract. So, I'm not going to do that. But you could if this was your, like, normal art journal page. <laughs> so, okay, I'm going to let you go now. Thank you. And bye-bye.